Uh, hello Elsa. Hey, hey. Desiree. How are you? Uh, yeah, good. Yes. How are you? Well, uh, we're, we're very glad that we can uh, visit you in your house. Yeah. And that we can ask you all kinds of questions. Because you are doing great. Uh, yeah, it's going well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, uh, you just recently published your documentary. Yep. Can you tell us about it? Everything. From the start? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's, uh, it's called Jolene and it's uh, on a, uh, a lady with a similar name, Jolene. She works uh, behind the bar in a strip, uh, strip bar and um, she uh, is a very big uh, Ajax fan um, and she raises two kids, yeah. uh, which one she got when she was 16 and the other one she got four years later. And she was all the time in terrible relationships uh, and this men issue mm -hmm. that she has, she claims that she got from... Uh, a not so good relationship with actually her bi biological uh, father left uh, yeah. or at least she didn't have contact with him okay. and he died quite early and yeah. she kind of got this father-daughter feeling with her new dad who is called Keith Bucker and he was the new boyfriend of her mother and um, he uh, was a TV psychologist in okay. Holland. Like uh, quite a well film, film uh, sort of. Yeah, kind of. It's mostly um, he mostly aimed for uh, addicted people because he he used to be an addict as well. Oh, wow. And he was her stepfather. Yeah. Okay. So there's a lot of ingredients for mm -hmm. um, aggression, which she suffered from, and well, a lot of problems she had kind of came from her um, childhood. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Pretty yeah. intense. Pretty intense. Yeah. But the thing is that it kind of um, got to a point with her that she felt that her aggression was taking her over and she really wanted, in favor of her kids mo mostly, uh, wanted to change her behavior or at okay. least temper it. Yeah. And so uh, she decided to study psychology. Wow. That's a yeah. strong lady. Yeah, she is. Yeah. Wow. yeah. How did you meet her? Well, I met her quite early like 13 years before <laughs> I decided to make a, f a movie on her yeah and I was actually pretty scared of her she was uh, very aggressive yeah towards you also or to other people yeah kind of uh, her whole attitude was quite uh, yeah feisty yeah and um, she was she was very interesting she she was really the leader of this pack of girls that danced at uh, La Vie en Post. And um, she uh, arranged uh, them for parties to dance on. Okay. And for one of those parties, I made the flyers. That's where we met. As a photographer still? As a photographer, okay. yeah. 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 I was even in school then. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's yeah. a long time ago. Then. Long yeah. time ago. Yeah. Two years. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Um, so um, I lost track of her. Oh no, wait. Uh, she was also uh, modeling for the cover of my boyfriend's uh, album. Okay. And he's in a band, the Jeugd van Degenwoordig, and she was on a, one of his first albums because I gave him her number because he needed models. Okay. Yeah. So you knew her already, also by that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. And then I lost track of her. I might have bumped into her like a few times in yeah. those 13 years, but then I met my new best friend, Sheila, in these th 13 years, and her father is the manager of the strip bar, and I bumped into her again. Okay, that's, the, that's a coincidence. That's More than a coincidence, probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Wow. And, uh, but so you started as I mean, Elsa Jo started as a photographer. Yeah. Uh, and you met her in your photography time. Yeah. Are you still a photographer? Yeah. Okay. No, I, f I feel very much uh, like my base is still is photography. And yeah. I mean, this this whole uh, movie was was a quite a bumpy road because everything technical and building a story was new to me. And... Um, and then you can actually tell seeing the movie got a lot of comments on it as well, which yeah. I mean, which made sense. But I think 
um, no, I think my my profession at first in the first place is photography. is photography. Yeah. Still, yeah. Um, I kind of like the mix of it. Oh. Now I and I like I'm still a baby <coughs> in this whole yeah, filmography. That's probably also part of the charm, I guess. I think for this movie, yeah. yeah. But if I continue I this to for too long, <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a moment that's oh no, not no, again, no, no not no. again, there she is not again. this crappy no. filmer again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what uh, my interns notice is that there's a lot of in and out of focus. Yeah. And that the story is sort of reversed, like uh, you you see something and then we go backwards and then we go forwards. Can yeah. you tell us a little bit about your motivations in that sense? Um, those are two. So the reverse one is um, one of the motivations. Uh, you probably mean the scene of the car yeah. being smashed that yeah. comes back. Yeah. That's the only time where it's not really chronological. chronological. I mean, nothing yeah. is real in in even documentary lens okay. as well. I it's figured <laughs> everything's fake. Yeah. But this one is where you can really tell that we jumped in time. And I think um, what's really important to know is that uh, the ex that we bump into in the yeah. movie is not the only ex that uh, co caused troubles in uh, Jolene's life or okay. had a di that she had a different um, relationship with, yeah. with a lot of uh, violence. This kind of repeated and to actually, yeah, to exaggerate the repetition or something, yeah, to emphasize that. Yeah. Uh, Saskia, the editor, okay. who did this amazing job on yeah. this movie. Um, she wanted to show that by repeating it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we made that decision. Yeah. yeah. And, and what can you tell us about the in and out of focus? Was that intended or was that part of the learning process? No, that's kind of, there's this, it's this camera on which you don't have, I mean, it's a, a small camera, yeah. which I brought, uh, which I actually bought, especially for this project, because it's so small. And I went to all those places where people are absolutely not fond of cameras yeah, 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 um, and um, this camera works really well but in certain circumstances it's kind of too dark and then it's hard to get the focus right yeah so it's kind of a yeah of course you get a better result with a bigger better camera and yeah, yeah. but also different response of the people you're yeah. filming of course yeah, so yeah. that was kind of the yeah. Yeah. Okay. And how would you describe the balance between your photography and, and filming right now? Is it 50-50 mm. or is it is it time in, in certain times that you're more a photographer and the other way around you're more a filmer or I'm not so sure cuz I'm starting some new projects now but it's still kind of new and still I mean it's a, a very different phase than this photography. I mean Photography is kind of a thing that I kind of, I mean, you can wake me up in the middle of the night and I, I'm kind of Do there. It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's an automatic thing. It's like cycling for me or walking. Mm -hmm. And I think um, filming is more than like snowboarding, which I <laughs> never did. <laughs> Oh, me too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's a new thing, and yeah. I, I do, I do feel very conf confident yeah. in this process. I, I, do, I do feel that the, the next project is going to be a lot smoother, and um, I'm actually very eager to uh, to make something with this new knowledge. Yeah, but I kind of like being a new. That's nice. It's like challenging also. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like inspiring. graduating again. Yeah, I yeah. can imagine that. Uh, you were born and raised in Amsterdam. Yeah. Uh, how did the city influence your work? Did it? That's hard. I think, yeah. I'm not sure. I mean, this movie is very Amsterdam um, driven. I think Jolene stands for Amsterdam yeah. almost. Like the the... Yeah. How how Amsterdam's now? She's, you know, someone who went to raves when she was younger and um, liked hardcore and is in this scene of uh, of F-siders and um, yeah, I think it's kind of the new new Amsterdam maybe, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. kind of documenting Amsterdam, Amsterdam now. Yeah, she's a good metaphor, I think. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure if this 
could only if I could only make movies on Amsterdam. Mm. I love Amsterdam. I mean, it's kind of the thing that's close closest at the heart, of yeah. course. Yeah. So it's kind of making a movie about family, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Pers I'm more personal. Too. Yeah. But I'm not sure if I'm if you have to do everything related to Amsterdam. No, no. But the city itself, uh, would you? I mean, it's it's a hypothetical question. But would you uh, think that you're a different photographer or filmer when you would have raised in, let's say, a little village in uh, the east of Holland? Yeah, I think so, because I have a lot of. Uh, I'm already. I'm not very strange from the world that Jolene is in. Of course, I'm not yeah. totally in her scene and stuff, yeah. but I I know the mentality of Amsterdam. I know Amsterdam very well. So um, I think it's easier if you have that because you don't have to investigate on that. Yeah. Or yeah. you can have you can skip a lot of steps when yeah. you already For, know voyeurism and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have any tips for young viewers that are dreaming about a career? It's the ghost. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> do you have don't tell them, don't tell them. <laughs> Did you do? Uh, any, any tips or hints uh, for young photographers and filmers? <coughs> you Just say? don't think and do. <laughs> Just do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think some solutions are simpler than you think. And yeah. of course it doesn't become as pretty as you maybe think uh, at first but I think it's good to go somewhere with a plan and just um, just see if it works mm -hmm. and uh, if it doesn't work this the first time then it will eventually after three years <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You you also are partly teaching. Yeah. Uh, do you uh, what what kind of teacher are you? What can you give the students? Oh, that's hard to tell myself. Of course, that's yeah. something better to ask my awesome. students. <laughs> and oh, you're always always very happy when. Uh, but also when a bit afraid. I heard a little bit afraid. <laughs> yeah, but that's because of the ghost. I because guess. of the ghost. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, how do you see your future from now? I have no idea. No? No, that's not something that I think about. Okay. Because then I I kind of aim for goals or something and I, I really I'm really fond of the projects that I do. Okay. I'm happy that I have you know, if you're getting older and kind of more experienced that um things become a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I'm very happy with that. So doors open easier. But on the other hand, they slam in your face <laughs> easier as well. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's always yeah. hard working, but it, I think you, the level becomes different. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it, you don't have the fantasy <coughs> of okay, starting uh, traveling around the world, working in the USA in the end, or that's not. Well, if if there's a very interesting subject in the USA, then I would go there, but. It's more subject driven, I yeah. think, yeah. or not yeah, location or uh, no, ideas it's not. Or goals. It's not because of that. Well, yeah. I would love to go to Mexico again, but then yeah, yeah. How does a subject inspire you? What does it? What do, happens inside you that you think that's Julian? I think recognizability yeah. in some way. So it, something. I mean, of course, it's something new that you don't know that you want to investigate, but you have to relate yeah. to some sense. So I, I think you have to, yeah, kind of, I don't know where that is in you Jolene and me. Yeah, yeah. Could you say that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. It's it's very, it's hard to really name what it's about because it's, um, it's very personal, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The question was why you asked why the fun fair. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, we filmed in uh, Saint Tropez, uh, where Keith lives, and we, Saskia, the editor, and I, kind of figured that that would be the end, because <coughs> that's where I mean yeah. she first uh, raises the problem of her dad and yeah. kind of solves it in the end. Yeah. And it ends in a fun fair, which is a very kind of happy scene. Yeah. So um, Saskia, as brilliant as she is, she said like, but we have to have more fun fair. So it's kind of a metaphor that comes back through uh, throughout the movie yeah. where you kind of work into. And the fun fair is placed on those moment where, moments where she actually loses it. 
in the rest of the movie, except for the end. Okay. So it's it's a, a very dark, and yeah. sinister place, place in the rest of the um, yeah. of the movie. And that's also the, those parts are also connected with music. Yeah, yeah, yeah which are especially written yeah. for yeah. the movie. Yeah. Uh, Riemer made one piece, who's a musical genius, and the other musical genius is uh, Dano, which who was like the first uh, hardcore. No, one of the first yeah, hardcore yeah. DJs in uh, in Holland, and on the, yeah, I I really like that their styles are very different, but yeah. they kind of fit in this whole Jolene atmosphere yeah, very, very well. Good. Yeah, very good. I'm very yeah. happy with that. Yeah, yeah. and it's like a sick honor, of yeah. course, that you have yeah. two of those people working on. Uh, Riemer also made a song, the theme song for Jolene with uh, Freddy. Oh. And Freddie is my soon-to-be husband, boyfriend, and he knows Jolene as well. Wow. Yeah, he, she's so cool. on. Yeah, she's on his album. <clears throat> okay, so on this their album, the band. Yeah, this album now. No, 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 the first, the first album, album he brought yeah. out. Yeah. Wow. Well, uh, I think uh, we asked you all the questions and um, all sixty, all sixty, wow, ninety-five. I think I always we, uh, knew it was rapid applause. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> well, uh, we would like to uh, thank you. Very thank much, uh, and uh, we're going to air this uh, interview on Photofacts, the website with all the interviews for photography, about photography, and of course, video and documentary nowadays. Uh, thank you very much. Thank and, you. Um, well, we hope to see more and more beautiful work and documentaries, and uh, go, girl. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>